As one of the big dogs in the affordable jewelry space, Aparo's attention to detail has always been something that's impressed me beyond belief. Hand setting stones, beautiful clean castings, high end finishes, and in the luxury jewelry space, very, very competitive and gives everybody in the space a run for their money. And I think it's great to have that competitive nature between these brands, because all it's gonna do is increase better output of products to compete with all their other brands to bring you guys better quality at a more competitive price point, which is what we're looking for for us in the affordable jewelry space. So without further ado, let's do some unboxing. Let's roll my fucking music so we can check out four new pieces by the brand Aparo. I'm kind of a big deal. Beautiful peoples, you know who it is. It's your boy. C to the U to the B to the A. Now I have seen via messaging, today's video is sponsored by Aparo, what pieces that they want to send over from me to review. Now full disclaimer, no matter the sponsorship, I don't know why I have to say this every time, but no matter the sponsorship, I will always provide my true honest opinion. And every brand that I collaborate knows that, but it's jewelry, it's subjective. You can like what you like and I can like what I like and it doesn't mean that we both are wrong. So let's jump right in and to unbox some of these pieces. So today we're gonna be starting off with the Aparo A line, which is their new release line, which brings a little bit of high end luxury luxury look, still keeping that streetwear aesthetic, but adding a little bit of a designer-ish flair. Now, full disclosure, I know you guys are fans of 925 Silver and Moissanite, and these are not in. These are way more affordable than those pieces, but they had a high-end flair for the fashionista, the jewelry enthusiast who doesn't want to break the bank, people who don't care about Moissanite or any semi-precious stones or precious stones or precious metals, and just want something that's high-end fashion to be looking to pair with their outfits. So the first, we're going to start off with the Aparo A. Now, these particular pieces are brass and seed. Z with a gold plating on it, approximately 14 karat gold plating. Now starting on with the Aparo A from their A series. Now this is brass and CZ, extremely clean handset stones. These are not machine set according to Aparo and this is part of their anniversary line. Very clean, has a bit of a bulgari style flair to them. So I do see the combination of high end luxury goods mixed with the affordable streetwear kind of blend. And it comes with this Hermes style link, which is kind of unusual because it has that little bit of adjustability and that hang on it, which screams more of that Gothic style metal look definitely in that streetwear space and it has two adjustable points based on if you want if you want it a little longer or shorter it looks approximately about slightly over two inches in length to adjust the sizes accordingly from here to this point for those Williamsburg hipster type vibe energy people who want to wear this high-end luxury piece at around a $69 price point clean finishing clean logo a nice geometric style flair to it has this three-dimensional MoMA S type piece that has a lot of artistic flair to it very clean very affordable now let's move on to that other piece. This one definitely intrigues me. This is the A style bracelet. Now here's the Aparo A bracelet. Definitely took inspiration from that Bulgari Serpentine, I believe it's called. This is super clean actually. It has a little bit of an A slash bike chain type look to it, but I love the clasp release. This is super fun. I like when it has that integration, that seamless integration to pull this over. And then it has that hidden hinge mechanism that just flows very nicely. This nice geometric artistic look is definitely more of my speed. Also brass with gold plating on it, CZ stones as well, which is not everybody's cup of tea, but again, this is only in the $120 space and you're getting something very artistic. I like that seamless hinge on it. Really, really flows nicely. Love the lock. I wonder if it just snaps into place if I push. No, you have to open it up, claw open, Dig it right in. Very, very cool look. I actually do dig this joint. This is a very cool piece. But this is more for the art fan too. This has to be a particular type of style. Like I picture the person wearing this joint. Definitely makes their own clothing, anticipates fashion week, definitely a TikTok trendsetter. Goes to Goodwill, buys that inexpensive clothing and reconstitutes it to their own style. Cut and sew type energy. And Aparo still keeps that super clean diamond setting, flawless shine and finish. And I just love the geometry. I love the flow of this joint. I love the cleanliness of it as well. I believe this one is about eight inches, which is bigger paws than my size, but you can see how this joint sits on the wrist. Very clean. I do like this piece. I find this bracelet slightly more interesting than this. It has a simplistic type look. This has more of a flair. If I'm gonna wear inexpensive jewelry, I want it to have some sort of attention grabbing and unique factor to really garner that compliment or that, oh, where'd you get that bracelet type look? This is the type of shit that I'm talking about. That's a clean wrist profile right there. Now let's check out some Moissanite pieces. Now these two pieces I'm excited about. We're talking about 925 silver and 
moissanite micro jesus and mid-size jesus pieces now i don't wear jesus pieces you guys know that if you follow my channel but nobody can deny the popularity of these and i know when aparo gets busy on these pieces they get busy with these finishes and they definitely did not disappoint my god i mean everybody's god i guess no pun intended shit look at the detail on this this is incredible holy shit i gotta zoom in on this puppy because this is bro look at that detail diamond setting immaculate micro setting on top that sandblasted finish the waves in the hair the spikes on the crown the bale setting cleanliness little diamond accents right here at the bottom followed by that wood finish in the back this is what i'm talking about the level of detail that you put into these affordable jewelry pieces is unmatched bro you can't do this in the u.s without breaking the bank this is super fly but it also came with a very unusual chain and i gotta show you this so these are like the budget chains that come with some of the pendants these are adjustable with this rubber grommet in this space here that has some tension right but you can pull it to adjust it to your size i don't know how durable or long lasting like if i pull this i'm putting tension you can see it pulls through like you definitely can't put a heavyweight pendant because it can like just pull it through although i'm putting some good tension so i think a standard pendant definitely won't do it i give him an a for creativity i'd never seen this type of joint with some sort of like grommet rubber fixture there to help with that tension these are also plated pieces very unusual it's this slack for me i don't do well with the slack portion i don't like it but you have to cater to everybody and i do understand that everybody has different length options so you can definitely go complete choker style with these joints or just full blown about 28 inches i would assume that this is like it's definitely different now going back to this mid-size Jesus and let's check out the micro joint. Now here is the micro joint. I don't even want to talk. Look how clean this joint is. That micro setting, it's about the size of a nail and you're still able to pull off this ridiculous amount of detail in these smaller pieces. Still with that same wood finish. They could have used the same style cut, but they didn't. They wanted to give it a realistic type wood grain and difference between them. And these are not light pieces. They definitely have some substantial weight to them, but man, the detail though. I would love to see what this joint looks under a microscope. I always say in order to appreciate art, you gotta look at it up close and personal under a microscope. You can see the detail of the setting, how clean it is. Considering that this is the size of a nail, we're getting some good detail out of this casting. We're looking at this under heavy magnification. You can still see the detail in the hair, detail in the beard. You can obviously see the casting. We wanna see the stone setting. Beautiful, nice, clean stone setting on these pieces. Again, the size of a nail. You can see I need a manicure. But look at the type of detail that you can pick up in these micro style pieces. Same goes for the larger pendant. Very nice, super clean, shiny moissanites. I think considering the sizes, this is an impressive piece. The whisks in the beard and the hair, down to the super clean stone setting, even the minimal details down in the bottom. This casting is solid. As a novice non-jeweler, I think this is a very clean look. So this is the Aparo A on the longest setting. Can't forget the neck profile. Now let's see it on the shorter setting. I might die. Not for me. Now let's try the mid-size Jesus head on the chain. So you hook the chain right here, fairly simple. And here's where you can adjust the length. So I go over here, pull it out. And this is the longest that it'll go down to starting from here all the way to here. Ugh, and with a tail behind me, look at this thing. No, neck profile. If you ever catch me wearing a choker like this, just drive me up to Poughkeepsie, New York and throw me off a cliff. Now let's extend this puppy back to a, a human size length and let's stack it. Now these ropes are about 2.5 millimeters, so a 2.5 millimeter rope does fit this micro pendant, so that's definitely a plus. I just found the first advantage. You can actually set up your perfect layering with these types of chains. I didn't think about that till now. You can set up your layer right on the money. Since you don't have to guesstimate how many inches between, you can just adjust them and almost do a perfect layering. That's a fucking dope advantage. That's actually a clean stack. I would probably do the big one longer and then the little one shorter. Yeah, I kind of like that look. Huh, pretty fly. I was reluctant with some of these pieces. The Moissanite Jesus pieces absolutely just blow me out of the water. Aparo just knows how to do these pieces well. And the affordable anniversary options also very clean for that hipster type high-end designer style. I don't know some of y'all might be into. Shout out to Aparo for sponsoring today's video. I'll put a link in the description if you guys are interested in any of these pieces and maybe we'll do some torture tests and see what kind of longevity these joints have as far as plating is concerned. I like that. I'll see y'all stitches next time. You know who it is, biggest in the game.
smooches. Mom's crib. Yeah. It's long since you never get in. It's long since you would think that you would. 